The ISO finders, these are smart collections, and that you can tell by the little gear icon on the folder, and those are automatically finding things for you. So you can see here, this one automatically found 155 images that were in the ISO range 4 to 800 from my 272. So if I was to just click on it, it would automatically gather all the images in the 4 to 800 ISO range, and then I could, if I wanted to, select them all and go to my presets, which we're going to cover, and apply my ISO noise reduction designed for 4 to 800 range. Click it, one step, and that's all, boop, they're all set. All right, so that's kind of what the ISO finder was designed for. To set that up, let's set one up so you guys know how to do a smart collection. I'll go back to all my images, create smart collection, and let's say, let's find uh, ISO over 1200. So let's say I'm fine with my camera. My camera's so nice, up to 1200 ISO or 16 or whatever you think. Anything above that, I might want to use some noise reduction, but below that, I don't care. It's fine. All right? That's up to you. So let's say our threshold is 1200. So I'm going to put it inside a collection called ISO Finders, which I already have set up on the left. You can see it there. I'm just going to put it in that set to keep track of it. And then I want it to match. Here's the uh, options that you have. So you can match all kinds of cool criteria. And the one that I want is under the camera info ISO rating. So you could grab everything I shot with my 7200 lens. You could grab anything I shot at a 60th shutter speed or whatever. Pretty much whatever you can think of, you can, you can collect it. So I'm going to go speed rating. <coughs> is greater than 1200 and that's it and then you can always say match any or all so if I had more criteria I want to say I want it ISO over 1200 but less than two thousand so anytime in that range there that's what that would look for and that's matching all of those 